I like to use a lot of antibacterial products at home um, just because I do have a cat. He often likes to walk and touch every surface. Toronto resident Jenny regularly cleans her home to fight germs and grime. But her daily cleaning routine could be impacting her health. And I just think it's something that has such a potent smell. Um, there definitely has to be chemicals working in there and that are also in the air. Jenny was one of 14 volunteers from three Canadian communities to take part in an experiment led by Environmental Defence. The experiment looked at how chemicals in cleaning products affect indoor air quality and human health. Our tests found chemicals that contribute to indoor air pollution and are linked to respiratory problems including asthma. All the volunteers cleaned their kitchens for 30 minutes. Some used conventional products from the country's most popular cleaning brands, while others used green products. For both groups, toxic chemicals called volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, were found in air tests. On average, the volunteers who used conventional products saw VOC levels increase in the air in their homes by 120%. Canadians spend about 90% of our time indoors, so indoor air pollution is a very real concern. There are things people can do to protect themselves while cleaning, such as opening a window and purchasing safer products or making their own. However, consumers shouldn't have to worry about these chemicals and products in the first place. Companies should make an effort to reduce VOCs and products, and we need stronger regulations around product labeling so we can actually find out what's in these products before we bring them into our homes so we can make safer choices. When Canadians clean their homes, their only concern should be fighting grime, not fighting for their health. It's time for government and industry to clean up their acts. Take action today.